Welcome to today's 3D print. I have another mega print for you. This print's not huge, although it was printed at 132%. It was printed on the Ender 2. The second part of the print is two pieces. I actually had to print on my Tornado because the CR-10S was busy printing DG Aquaticus and it could not fit on the Ender 2 print bed at 132%. So, here we go. This is from the user who made Faceless. You guys remember Faceless? This came out fantastic using Twinkling Red from um, Zyro. About 17 bucks a roll, 18 bucks a roll, something like that. Pretty cheap stuff. Excellent, excellent filament. This is using the same filament, but in blue. And the same author who designed Faceless, his name is Fantasy Graph, also designed this. Coming in at, oddly enough, 132 grams, and it was printed at 132%. I thought that was fascinating. Besides the base, which required fill to um, make sure it didn't collapse, this is printed completely hollow. And it's in two parts. The second part's printed a different color and then inserted into the first. And you guys are going to get a kick out of this. The detail is out of this world. It's, it's so clean. I, I know I brag on about this. And, uh, I, I might, you might as well call me a fanboy, but I love my Ender 2s. <laughs> This is the wish. Look at that. Stunning. The print is so beautiful. This is getting upscaled big time. When I get the Creality CR10 S4 set up, one of the first mega prints I'm going to do on it is this. I want to do. I think that would come out to almost 300%. A little over 300%, maybe 350%. Look at that. This is the Zyro Twinkling Blue. Look at the fingers. The toes, they're all there. Gorgeous. All the stones on the plateau below her. No support whatsoever. There's 25% infill in this bottom part to allow this stuff to be printed with support. Because infill is basically support. Uh, but once you pass the top of this stone right here, no more support. It's all empty. And I'm actually going to stop this video and start it again at the end to show you something else really cool. But there's no easy way for me to do it without some prep. Look at that. Look at the face. All the details. Oh man, I love this print. I love truly gorgeous prints like this. This is a Luby quality print. This is the kind of stuff I really, really love printing. Because it's stuff you just want to have around. It's so beautiful. The star, there's a slot in the back. And so you print that. It's a quick print. I use this. This is the clear twinkling Zyro filament. This is the blue. And then there's a little slot in the back here. And you just insert it. And it sits there. I think you can actually pick it up by it if it stays put. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> you didn't have to glue it in, it just fits right in there. Now, I have plans for this because I think this could be a truly spectacular print if done right. Oh, I love the way that plastic shimmers. I just bought another roll, it's got a brand new roll. I, I love this is one of my favorite plastics. I love this stuff. This is the same plastic I used to print the, the big birdhouse on the ANET E10. Watch that video. That that print is amazing. Um, I want to print this in black with the white star because Zyro has a black twinkling transparent filament, which I think would be stunning as a contrast to the star. And when I scale it up to four hundred percent, I plan to print this star as two halves that will glue together. And the reason for that is I'm going to cut a channel inside of it, and I'm going to put a base underneath of her. It's going to make her light up from inside. That's what I'm going to show you in a moment when I stop the video and restart it. And then I'm going to hide thin copper wire, winding wires, inside the channel, inside of this star, coming up from the base. And I'm going to put an LED right inside the star. I think that would be amazing. Maybe even three LEDs if I can. That's a little more work than I'm usually capable of doing, not for skill, but for time. Have a single LED here, lighten up the star, and say, blue. And then have like two LEDs, one here and here, to light up the tail of the comet in like red. 
but I'll probably just go simple and put a single LED in there. And then have her light up from the base with a big cob LED so it evenly illuminates the entire bottom shining up. But I'm just going to be quiet for a moment and I want to show you some close-ups of this model. Because it is one of the most beautiful models I've ever printed. It was designed to be 3D printed without support. You can see her chest and breasts underneath there, no support, and they printed clean. There's no stragglers, there's no off-put lines. And this is on the Ender 2 with no part cooling pen, so this print was truly optimized for 3D printing. And that's one of the reasons her hair and wings interact, and why the wings go down to the ground, and so that all those parts can be supported. So that this whole thing can be printed without any support. I love this model. Fantasy Graph, you need to set up like a subscription list so that anytime you make something new, <laughs> people who subscribe can get it because I'll print damn near anything you design if you keep making stuff like this. This is amazing. I should have used a uh, honeycomb for the infill. It would have looked better than the, um, the crisscross grid. Just cosmetically, aesthetically, it would have looked better. Not a big deal, though. I'll definitely do that for the large one. Oh, I love this plastic, and I love this model. Very, very pleased with this. Buddy, you did a great job. If only I had the skill to design stuff like this. But I am a realist, and I understand reality. I will never have this skill. I will never have the time to develop it, to perfect it. This is a lifetime skill. You either have this knack from birth, you have a tendency toward it, or you've developed a lifetime skill to make stuff like this. As always on the ender, beautiful bottom layer. Those shadows you're seeing are actually the stones on top. It's like she's sitting in a little creek or a pond or something. You can see these stones here, those are the shadows that you're seeing. The top layers are perfect. Besides a little bit of splooge in the, between here and here from the jump, barely visible. Not a single imperfection anywhere on this model. This is printed on the engine 2, 1.0 multiplier, 0 0.4, 0.2 millimeter layer height at 200 degrees. Well, 225 first layer, 200 afterwards. Man, I love this. Now I'm going to show you guys a little special part. Hang on a second. Alrighty, I had to turn off the lights for this one. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Imagine that properly lit up. That is so pretty. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> you guys have a good night.